Hi, my name is Donna Lewis. I am with Breathe Life Ministries, and I wrote a book called Toxic to Transformed 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. It's a recovery devotional for people who are going through um, emotional abuse. This video I am making for you. A bomb has literally just gone off in your home and you are reeling. You just found out that the person you have devoted your life to, that you made a covenant with, has shattered that covenant with adultery. I am so sorry. I hurt with you. I've been through it. I understand and know your pain. I'm now in the position of being on the other side of it. Healed and restored. And I want to give you my love, my compassion, and wisdom. I want to give you some tools that you can use right now. Right now in the midst of your shock and horror. I'm going to give you four steps. The first step is this, know this, God has not abandoned you. God loves you. God is hurting with you right now. And he wants you to know this. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation. He has not abandoned you. I know you may feel abandoned and betrayed. It is not God who has done this to you. It is the enemy of your soul who working through your spouse is seeking to steal, kill, and destroy. God is with you. God loves you. Do not trust your circumstances right now. Trust the truth. He loves you. He is here for you right now. Secondly, you are in the very initial stages of grief. Grief has five stages that you are getting ready to walk through. Denial, which is where you're at right now, that feeling of shock where you're going, I just can't believe this is happening to me. Anger, you are going to be, and may even be right now, righteously angry. You've been betrayed. You've been gutted. It is completely normal to be angry. It isn't right what happened to you. You are going to go through bargaining. That's where you start questioning. You're like, well, if only I had done this, maybe if I'd done that, maybe if I do this, change how I look, change the color of my hair, uh, get a better job. That's called bargaining and it's an endless circle but you're gonna go through it. 
then depression. It's when you begin to realize that nothing you would have done, could have done, should have done matters. It still happened and the loss is still there. And then finally, you will get to a place that traditionally is called acceptance. I call it peace and hope. You come to a place where you reconcile the truth of your situation with the truth of who God is and who you are in Christ. It's a place of peace. And it's a place of renewal. These stages are human, natural, and the course of things. The key is to walk through them without harming yourself or others. I'm going to say that one more time. Walk through these stages of grief without harming yourself or others. This is what the Bible means when it says, be angry, but do not sin. Secondly, or excuse me, thirdly, be kind to yourself and be kind to others as you walk through this pain. Acknowledge and accept the fact that you are in pain and it's completely rational to be in pain right now. You've been hurt, you've been gutted, you've been betrayed, you've had your arm ripped off by a train. Be kind to yourself and do no harm to anyone else. And lastly, you want justice. You've been betrayed, you've been harmed, you've been stolen from. It is extremely dangerous for you right now because you will be tempted by the enemy and through your anger to seek revenge. The word of God tells you this, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. Do not give the enemy what he wants right now. And that is to work in you to create havoc by seeking revenge. You may be very tempted right now, and this is very normal. You may be very tempted right now to go out and commit adultery yourself as an act of revenge. Don't do it. You may be tempted right now to go do physical harm to somebody either your spouse who betrayed you or the one they betrayed you with or both of them do not do it. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord of hosts. I will repay. If you seek vengeance, you are going to do harm to yourself and to your family. You might have little children at home right now who need you desperately. If you don't have children at home, you have friends and family who deeply care about you. Do not harm them and yourself by seeking revenge. It is a pit from hell and it will not succeed in anything other than more destruction.
I sought revenge when I went through my experience with adultery in my marriage. It only brought destruction to my soul, to my family, and it took a long time for the Lord to dig me out of that. So don't take the bait. It is bait. What you want to do right now is get to a place of quiet and safety. That may mean moving in with a friend or a family member who is safe, kind, and compassionate. That may mean moving into a hotel room for a little while. I highly recommend space for you, safe space, comfort, real comfort from people who love Jesus and have wisdom and authority in the kingdom of God to walk with you right now. If you need to reach out to me at Breathe Life Ministries, I'm on Facebook at Breathe Life Ministries. And you can also find me on the web, breathlifeministries.com. I will give you a free copy of my book, Toxic to Transformed, to comfort you as you walk through this sorrow. Adultery is a form of abuse and it tears at your heart and your mind. I'm very sorry you're going through this. Know this, God loves you and he has not abandoned you. He is here for you now with his comfort and his counsel. You are walking through grief right now and you're in the very initial stages of it. So be kind to yourself and others. And leave justice to the God of justice who meets it out perfectly on your behalf. Whatever the thief stole, he has to repay seven times. God's justice is perfect. You can trust him with it. I love you. My heart is with you. And I pray that you be blessed and restored abundantly beyond all you could ask, hope, think, or imagine. Reach out if you need me. God bless.